So you guys, I've been sitting here for about five minutes and I'm waiting for the lighting to change because it's orange. So, gotta eat. Let's look. I don't know if my freaking lighting is freaking going right. It's so annoying. Anyways, so we're gonna start off with Hey guys, what you doing? No, I'm kidding. Um, but anyways, how are you guys doing? Um, it's April. So, I'm doing my March favorites of 2015 today. Um, there weren't many to look and find for. Um, because I just don't have money to go to the drugstore or, um, Sephora or Ulta or anything. Or Mac to get anything so um, I only have a couple stuff I don't have many so it's gonna be a little short video um but yeah so I'm just going to uh, talk to you guys about what I've been really my favorites for this month and uh, uh, there are some that are just old and I just like to keep on using they're really really my favorites and stuff that I will recommend to you guys. So, uh, the first big thing that I would recommend to you guys, it's dirty, so forget about that, is the LA Girl 10 Color Palette Glamorous Blush by BH Cosmetics. It has foundation all over, because I use it in uh, other makeup videos. And this is what it looks like. I love it. It has like a shimmery, shim paint. I think it's champagne. No, it's more like a peachy type of highlighter. You probably won't be able to see it. But, uh, yeah. Um, has a little bit, like, shininess to it. You can see a little bit, but I barely, like, touched it. Touched the blush right here. And I already, like, smudged on. Um, that's, uh, this reddish one, which I don't tend to go to. So, um, yeah, I would totally recommend you guys to get this palette. Um, I would say this Glamorous Blush Palette is better for darker skinned. Um, the reason why I say this is it's super pigmented, so if you go, um, too quick into it, you could totally, um, mess up your look that you're trying to go for, or just to put on blush, um, except for... Um, like these four right here, um, it's really great for, um, light skin like me because I use, uh, these top two a lot, so definitely those that I would recommend to, uh, people who are light skinned like me, I'm really white, like this, white, and, um, yeah, but then, um, another, like, other colors that I would kind of occasion for, like, light to medium skin is the, the pinks and then, like, the coral one. Um, the coral one's okay for a uh, fair to light skin. Um, just use very little, like, barely, like, tap it and then, like, put it on your cheeks and you're totally good. Next is, uh, what do I'll go with? I'll go with highlighters. Um, this is uh, the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter, and it is totally great for your um, eyebrows. I use it every day. Um, I got this from my Etsy bag, and I will probably order more on um, the Chella website or wherever, or um, I'll just go on the Etsy and get like a percentage off. And I gave one to my mom too, and she said she really likes it, so I really like it too. Next is, uh, let's do concealer, and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is in the color NW20, and at first, I did not like it. Um, the reason why I didn't like it was because I don't have problems with creasing, but that wasn't the reason why I didn't like it. Um, I didn't like it because it... It sink into my pores, and I did use a primer, but it always sink into my pores, and I hated it. So, lately, why it's been my favorite is because instead of my LA, LA Girl Pro Concealer, um, for, like, my, uh, 
eyes uh, because I have blue veins and I have sunken eyes so I use that and then um, I use this now instead of my LA girl and I put this on with my um, MAC 252 brush um, which is a concealer brush and I put it on and uh, then I blend it out with one of my other brushes and then uh, it's all blended out and it looks perfect it looks nice and then what I do so it doesn't like dry up or anything I use my MAC 6 Fix Plus and I spray it on and I let it sit there and then I take my beauty blender and I uh, I dampen my beauty blender blah, blah, my beauty blender and I pat the um, Fix Plus down and it just makes it look all like good and porcelain and that's why I really enjoy it is because after the Fix Plus and I fix it my face looks great looks flawless and it doesn't move I definitely love that. And anyways, what I was talking about was my Max Plus, 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 and I'm running out, so I need to get more, and this, anybody who is having problems with foundations that don't stay, I would totally recommend getting a Fix Plus or a Finishing Mist, a Hydrating Mist, and you just... Uh, spray it all over what it pretty much does is it just pushes all the powders down and then if you have any like dry spots anymore which I do have dry spots around my face when I do get breakouts and around my nose I spray this all over and I wait a couple minutes and then I take my beauty blender push it all down and then it's perfect it's fine and you don't have to worry about anything moving anything smudging melting anything so um this is only nineteen dollars twenty dollars um it's totally in it's totally an investment because this is my second bottle no this is my third bottle and I it, it's just an investment you have if you're really into makeup, um, it's only totally invest investment and you need it to have for your um, makeup. Next is what I talked about again, is my beauty blender. I love this thing. I talked about it in other videos. And um, it's, if anyone who doesn't understand what a beauty blender is, because I was the same way, I'm like, it's just a sponge. What does it do? It's. It's just a sponge, like, I'll go spend two bucks at the Dollar Tree and just pat it in. But the only thing, it's totally different from any other sponge because there's a specific formula in it. So when you use cream, powder, liquid, um, foundation, and you use this, you first stamp it underneath water so it expands. And then uh, you pat it down onto your uh, foundation and it's it goes onto your skin and it doesn't leave your foundation like like you're painting your face pretty much um, but uh, the only thing is that it is $25 um, it depends on where you are but it's more likely $25 on the website and uh, I will leave a link in the bottom description so you could find it and just like read all the reviews and whatever. Next is foundation. I've used this for about four months, about uh, four or five months. And I, I love it to death. I love this foundation. I would totally replace any other foundation in my collection to the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin Foundation. This is what it looks like. It's rubbed off. It's fine. Um, but yeah. Um, but I'm in the color Classic Beige. Next one is I'll go to brushes. So I have three brushes. Two of them are MAC and one of them is Crown. So the two MAC ones are the MAC 252, which is a concealer brush. And the MAC 217, uh... This brush is really, really great. I believe it's $19, I think. I think it's 
And the reason why people rave about it so much is because the way it looks. It looks super thin right here, but then when you go, it's, um, it's wide. So the two things that is good about it is that if you want to get something right into your crease, you take the flat side and you put it right in your crease. And if you want something to be smoked out and move on your crease and uh, up above your crease, then you will use the the flat side and go like this and then blend it out. So that's the reason why I really like it. The next one is the MAC 252 brush and this is what it looks like and uh, I really like it. It helps me blend out all my, um, I was going to say my mascara, but uh, my concealer so I really like it. The next one is another concealer brush but I only use this with the Chella highlighter for my eyebrows. Uh, it really blends everything out, but this is the C224 Oval Concealer by Crown. And uh, I got this brush from one of my Etsy's, so really like these brushes. Next one is uh, lip products. I have two. Um, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in What a Blast. And this is what it's just a really hot orange. So really orange, super bright. Um, I used this in one of my makeup tutorials, so I'll leave a link below too if you want to watch that too. So um yeah, I really like it. I plan to get a lot more lip pencils. And I definitely um wanna get more lip pencils. I have one more in my collection. It's the nudie muted pink I don't know what it's called but anyways I uh, want to get more and yeah so I really like this product it stays on for a really really long time um, it's matte so if you're not a matte person um, you can still get it but uh, just put over um, a gloss or something or lipstick so I really like this and then the next product I've enjoyed is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in 058 in Bejeweled. And uh, the reason why I really like it is because I just love the color. You could put this over any color. I'm going to put it on right now. Looks good over any color. Um, you could put this over lip, lip gloss, lipstick, lip liners. And I always put this over if I want like a little bit of gloss to it. Um, so yeah, so um, this is what it looks like. It's uh, a, like a baby pink, like a pastel baby pink. And it's one of those like flat uh, applicators. So I really like that. This one is for eyes. I have three eyeshadows. And uh, the first one is the NYX Single Eyeshadow in Opal. This is what it looks like. And... It, you're really not seeing it, but anyways, I'll swatch it here. Really smooth, and Opal's more of those, like, um, those type of colors where it's white, but it has, like, a sheen that shows, uh, like, green and blue. Next one is a MAC, um, eyeshadow, and if you've been here for a while, then, you know, I use this in every tutorial or makeup something um so yeah this is the mac kid it's just a simple transition shade really smooth and i love the color it is this one right here so perfect for light skin light skin fair skin and i think medium maybe and then the last one is the pacifica single eyeshadow and this is in treasure and this is like a copper gold you kind of see so yeah uh, super soft and really pigmented and yeah so if you see the like a copper gold really like it is mascara i use this in every makeup tutorial like i said um and this is the rimmel london scandal eyes and this is the lycra flex mascara um it's not really flexy. Well, a little bit, but not really like flexy to use around your eye. It has a huge bristle, but 
Um, bad thing is if you have small little lashes, don't recommend because it has a huge brush. And then lastly is liner. I use this liner every time. I don't talk about any other liner. Um, but this is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum Eyeliner. Say that five times. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It has a silver um, packaging, which I really like. It's really like. Um, it's very eye-catching. And um, yeah, so I have to get a new one. It's kind of drying out a little bit, but it's really fine. It dries pretty quick, so it's not like a really wet one. So I really like that. And it turns matte if anyone wants to know. Lastly is a I got this product in my Ipsy March bag and this is the Milani color statement nail lacquer in the color where's the color and periwink um so this is what it looks like it's like a periwinkle blue purpley periwinkle um, so yeah, I really like it. It stayed on, uh, I took it to the, um, nail salon to get my feet done to see how long this lasts. Lasts a long time. The only thing that is very sheer, so you would have to put at least, I think it's three coats. Two to three coats, just depending on how you want to look it. The way you want it to, you know what I mean. The way you want it to look. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I really like it. I probably want to get more colors for like the summer. So yeah, very pretty for spring because it's pastel color and yeah. And that's it. And my favorites are always long. Anyways, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment in the bottom. And... I think that's it. Uh, I will leave any information that you missed um, in the description box. And I think that's it. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. But I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.